Welcome back on the channel for a new year and the third season of Marka. In this episode, we're going to do some bird photography and look after a bird that has been quite popular in 2020 on YouTube. So today we're going to photograph, or at least we try to photograph, the right throat dipper. The good thing is this location is perfect. I've been here over the last year a few times to park over here, once to, for example, shoot the Cape Kelly, but I saw that the white throated dipper on YouTube seems to be quite a thing, and I also wanted to try it for myself, but I needed a location. And here, where I parked, there is like this beautiful small river, which has some stones in it, and quite banks that are quite flat, so we can lay close to the water. And I never came back over the summer months or the fall, which was horrible. But now you can see it snowed, it's cold. We have around minus seven degrees, I think, today. It's gonna to be cold, but there's apparently, I already saw two dippers yesterday. Two dippers. They flew over my head while I was lying there. Let's do this. They just flew past me again. Maybe you saw it even in the background. They're just hopping over the water. They don't seem to be afraid at all. Is this finally the day that I get wild photos again? I'm just so really happy to concentrate on bird photography for a while. I like to concentrate on the bird that's just so local because this place is just around 10 minutes, 15 minutes from my home. It's just perfect. So keep in mind, stay dry. If your clothing gets wet, it loses 90% of its insulation capacities. Just to keep that in mind. I get ready now to take some photos. Really key. I'm just getting my first glimpses of the dipper. Still quite far away, like 40 meters, if not 50. But they're active, it's really good. But there's another thing we have to keep in mind, and that's staying warm. So I will lay on one of these thermo-insulating mattresses, which will keep me, keep me warm from below, so at least that I don't get the cold of the ground into me. Then you see I'm really packed thick, and I have at least two wool layers directly on my skin. Always have them directly on your skin. Don't have a t-shirt or anything else that is not wool under your wool layers. They have to be on the skin. Then I have my normal cap trousers and I have this really thick jacket which I used the last time on Svalbard. <laughs> so you know what we're dealing with here. But that should keep me really, really tightly packed. I also brought some tea. Bring coffee or tea to keep you warm. I 
had the feeling that we were not close enough to the water's edge where I was the last time. So I tried a new location out now. It was a bit hard to get in here and a bit noisy because the ground is so frozen and there are different sh shapes of ice in between that might break. I could finally lay down here. Got maybe a bit wet. Hopefully this, photo-wise, this is definitely the better location because I have a lower angle onto the water and the ice. And there are some small islands in here. It's maybe 100 meters, 150 meters from where I laid down the first time. So I hope this helps. Now we just have to wait. Also, it's really nice to lay in the sun for my legs because they're not as good insulated today as my upper body with this jacket. Yeah, now we just wait. just been there but a car passed by and it disappeared again and that's great that's, well, that was our first closest chance yeah if this here slipped out don't don't just ignore it I was out around a week ago and I wanted to look for a spot where I could shoot some seabirds for you, really close to the water. And since I'm a German flatlander, I fell on the stones, which I thought there wasn't ice on them, but there was ice on them. My brain was screaming one millisecond before, and don't do it. I fell, and I got my first stitches of the year, and tomorrow we can finally pull them out. <laughs> I was bleeding a bit. <laughs> But yeah, so much fun about that. We forget about the coast for now and concentrate on the forest. So, as you can see, the sun is fading a bit and I too, yeah, for too, too long used the D750 and so I couldn't record a video yet. I then put the converter on, teleconverter on, and the adapter. I got at least a few shots with the Z6. It, it worked at that place, but you can also see that I got a bit wet because I was so close to the water's edge that I didn't see that my elbow actually got into the water <laughs> while I was shooting the photos. I was just in, in shooting mode. And I maybe have some crazy hair. So now I had to decide what am I going to do with the rest of the light. And I think I might still have a shot over there. And if not, we have to go out another day. Just having a sip of tea now and a muesli bar. And then I'm going over there and checking it out. If not, I come back tomorrow probably, most probably, because the weather will be the same. <sighs> Some good honey can really save the day. So... Since the days are so short, this is two o'clock now, 
uh, and we have a mountain over here, it takes away the sunlight quite early. But over there it's a bit more shaped to the east, so it still gets kind of a passage in. So this is the second day. I can feel it working in my back from lying on the ground like this. In the sun I don't feel really cold, so I'm fine. So the dipper's already. I'm just trying it from this position again for once. I got a bit closer to the water, I can actually lie a bit on the ice here on the side. I hope that works out. And if the light moves a bit, I will go further. Oh, I have to be, I have to pay attention. Okay, not only was I able to shoot some photos of the dipper, not too close yet, still waiting for a better moment, there was a duck, really pretty duck with a really nice noise. I'm not sure if I could record the noise. I had the dippers flying over me as well. And I want to get a shot of both of them together, that would be nice, but they're really fast. And I'm a slow photographer. <laughs> So you guys can tell me what kind of duck that was. That was would be really nice, at least if I come home. Annalene is gonna know. Is gonna know what kind of duck that was. Ah, uh, which is so cool already, because it's so close and the stones here make a really nice bokeh. Because there's eyes on top. Crystals, really good. Oh, I can't hold the camera like this. Uh -huh. Oh God, guys, this is this is really nice. This is the first, first introduction to water birds, kind of, and I really enjoy it so far. I think we changed the location to the other side of the river once more, so that I get light from the other side. I just want to try that out, and I'm not sure if I, I mean, I, in, in both locations, the chance to get the shot of the dipper that I'm glad with <laughs> is kind of the equal amount. And I'm just open to try something out right now because I've been in this location yesterday as well. So less lucky. What's better now? And with that with that dark really nice. But yes, we, we have to try something else out and uh, I think we do that now because there's only around one hour of sun left. Let's go. It's always when you're cleaning up that that bird is always directly behind you. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I have to admit that I got a bit cold on my feet, on my toes, I couldn't feel them, but after the walk over here to this location, I got some warmth in there again. And I'm really not complaining. I'm having a great time. Could you hear? the dipper just flying by perfectly always when I want to record a video of course <laughs> better get ready
I must say, I'm really, really lucky. Dipper was swimming around over there. He's still over there, but he came over here. He was so close to my camera. I completely had to change the angle. My arms are hurting so much, but I think I got some pretty photos for my first time. Really pretty photos. At the same time, yellow wagtail. I think it's a yellow wagtail appeared. Of course, everything happens at the same time. This day is just turning out to be so great. This is so, I can't, I can't describe it. I'm really, really happy. With the dipper still inside. Ah, 20 meters from me. He's not caring too much if I'm not going too close. Making too much noise. And I just also saw, saw Woodpecker. It's just an amazing day. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm not sure if I got the shot that I'm really happy with. But we definitely gonna shoot dipper again. In a photographic sense. So thanks for tuning in for the first episode of the third season of Marka. Maybe subscribe, like the video, that really helps out the channel. Watch it until the end and just have a great week guys and have a lot of fun with your photography. This has been been really awesome. But now my arms hurt and my back and I have to go go home to get warm. Bye bye. <laughs>